is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, I am so thrilled to say I think spring is here, in Colorado anyway, although we did have another little snowstorm this last week. But with that said, I always start this off with wintertime. We're no snow. It's going to be warm. We're thawed out. We have great ideas here. And guess what we're talking about is media, but not uh, publicity-type media. Well, it could be used for publicity media. We're talking about putting some spark and some sizzle in what you produce, what you perform, whether it's a video you do or a shortcut lead-in, a trailer for your book, um, as plus as other things that we can tap into. With us is Susie Scott. She has been a producer and a director of countless commercials that you see routinely on television, as well as sizzle reels for authors. And we're gonna talk about how you can take advantage of the video visual market, which you should be, and tips and techniques on the DIYers, as well as where to get professional help. And with that, Susie, welcome to Author You, your guide to book publishing. Thank you, Judith. It's, uh, you opened with springtime, yeah, how thrilled am I to look out and see sunshine and be able to walk outside without slipping and falling on my tuchus and <laughs> all of that. So what a great way to open this. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, I'm, you know, I love sun. I am such a sun person and I just, I just wanted to get warm. I, in fact, I was so enthusiastic this week. Um, as the snow melted from Saturday, um, I'm out there Sunday already deciding, okay, it's over, it's over, and I am removing winter from my deck so I can sit on it because it was a beautiful day here in Colorado on Sunday. So it, it absolutely was, and today is nice. And <clears throat> if you go to the stores or look at the sales, they all want us to go buy seeds and plants and everything. And I am convinced, having lived here for most of my life, the reason they push that now is so you'll have to rebuy it after Mother's Day because we know that that'll happen. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I ignore it. And I planted pansies because pansies actually do quite well in the snow. You know, they hold up and they spring back. So I, I, I planted pansies. All my front pots have flowers in them. Wonderful. There we go. All right. Beautiful so and colorful. Yeah, there we go. Let, Susie, let's talk about you. You've got over 30 years in the electronic media industry from radio and TV. Um, from side, you created over 100 national and international commercials, which is a, a whole new whole new concept for, for people even thinking about. And you know how to really focus in, I mean, when you've done food commercials, how to really focus in and get people salivating um, without knowing what they're salivating over at times. So what are, what are some of the stats now dealing with marketing? What should we know as authors about video and how to use it? Well, uh, it is uh, such an incredibly powerful tool. Um, Forbes magazine last year in uh, 2017 said 64% of customers who have seen a video about a product are more likely to buy that product. 
64%. So that, that's a very significant number. And if you are an author, if you have independently published your book, if you are a speaker, if you need to promote yourself, think about that. That's a, a big deal. So if somebody has seen your reel, they're more likely to at least follow up, if not just hit on your website, book me now. Um, 60 to 65% of us think visually. You know, we're as authors, as speakers, we're used to doing text. But by stepping out of that and taking advantage of the power of moving pictures, that speaks to 60 to 65% of our population. Um, how many people do you know that are not on the internet these days? Most of us are on the internet these days. And over half of the internet users today watch video online every single day. Now, it may be cats that look like Hitler, or it may be some very in-depth how to change the oil in your car, but people click on video and they watch it every day. Uh, and again, over half of the marketers believe that video is the most effective way to push their brand awareness. Did you know that if you send an email and you have the word video in your subject line, it increases the open rate by 20%, over 20%. Just seeing the word video, people are more likely to open that email. So, and as we know, we're all to be collecting people for our email list. Mm -hmm. And if you have a website, which if you don't, you darn well should, they're easy to come by, including video in your landing page is shown to increase conversion by 80%. Well, that's huge. 80%. And, yeah, that's and, huge. And, 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 Susie, and what you're saying is that, I mean, and there's all different ways, which you're going to get into, of how to do a video, of ways to make a video, what con constitutes a video, that if you have a book for sale, which most of our listeners do, that you would want to have something that is engaging and we'll talk about how long to make this engaging little flick. But if you're talking about these conversion rates where Forbes says 64%, they see a video, they buy it. If it, if it, it does that connection, if it's going to solve their problem, um, you know, I'm, I am all for it. Yeah, it, the power of this really is amazing. <clears throat> Judith, I have used the example before. We are such a complicated society when it comes to what we look at and seeing moving images. We think nothing of going to a $200 million blockbuster movie and on the way out of the theater, you know, the conversation, well, you know, I didn't really think the way that glass building was destroyed was all that realistic. So you kind of pick that apart, and yet just as you're getting in the car, Aunt Edna may have sent you the latest video of a cat jumping on a trampoline taken with somebody's phone, and it's shaky and grainy, and that's okay. So we're very complicated as far as what works and what we appreciate, but it is the entire spectrum within from the 200 million down to Aunt Edna's cat video, <laughs> and yet 80% of consumers absolutely believe that videos are helpful. So there, it's a, it is a big deal. You cannot deny that moving pictures are a huge, powerful force in what customers want and helping sell that product. Mm -hmm. And and you know um, look look what they show on the dreaded Facebook right now that you've got it, you know, 
which which is what I've always called it, read in Facebook. But you've got the cat and dog videos and the baby videos. Those are the biggies. Those are the biggies that are out there. Um, and, and, and the other thing that I've done, Susie, when I share videos or I move those around, is that I try to give people kind of a heads up. This is how long this video is. That if, if you've got a 90 second video or it say, say two minutes, people will often stop. And just watch it because I've got I've got 90 seconds. I can I can give this 90 seconds. If you say this is this will you know knock my socks off. You know what? I'll take a peek at it. There's no question. And we also, because we are such a uh, visual society these days, our attention span when it comes to video. Mm -hmm. Network television learned this a long time ago. They provide breaks, mm -hmm. usually 10 minutes or less, into the program mm -hmm. because people are watching. Oh, okay. And we're going to, you know, go grab something from the kitchen or whatever the case may be. So shorter, really, especially when you're looking at something on the Internet or on your website, shorter is better. It can be a teaser. It can still have information. But let them get to the information, and if they want more, allow them to click and go find more information about you, about your book, about your appearances listed on your website. But use that video as a powerful punch to get their uh, attention and encourage them to want more and find more about you. Okay, so... And I'm going to add to that, and we're about a minute away from our first break, but here's what you all need to think. If you watch any of the of, of television, whether normal TV, on that, you're finding more and more shows do the setup. When the show first comes on, that time slot, whether it's 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or fill-in-the-blank clock, that they will actually open it up with engaging dialogue, scenario, what's happening or whatever. In the old days, they used to start with commercials. There was a whole bunch of commercials that set things up and people would go and get ready for it before they settle down. Now, they push it out with that engaging type of video that lasts maybe anywhere from four minutes, in this case, up to seven minutes, and then bang, it's a commercial break. It's a whole different way to do it. And with that, we're going to take a quick break ourselves. Um, this is Author You, your guide to book publishing. With me is Susie Scott, and we're going to talk how to rock and roll with your own videos. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Is there a book in you or another author you will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being good with it? If you already have a book out, you'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author You brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author You's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author You is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author it's not join author you today through its website at author you.org follow author you on twitter at author you and on facebook at author you where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily author you where the author goes to become seriously successful first impressions are everything in the world of book publishing whether your book is an ebook, a print version, or both, your book cover needs to pop, sizzle, and sparkle to immediately capture the attention of your audience. And your book's interior needs to be just as dynamic and reflect the professionalism your readers demand. Nick Selinger of NZ Graphics has won numerous national and international book awards for his cover designs and interior layouts. With over 20 years of experience in graphic design, he knows what it takes to create award-winning books and the many promotional pieces that authors need, such as posters, banners, postcards, one-sheets, 
business cards, logos, and more. Visit ncgraphics.com and see what authors and publishers have to say about their award-winning books and how NZ Graphics can make your book the success it was meant to be. That's nzgraphics.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, with me is Susie Scott. We're talking about really the immersion and growth of the use of video. And if you're not using it, you're making a big mistake with your book marketing, your book promotion, with your branding, fill in your blank, you need it on your website. So I asked Susie um, if we could do a lead off and then we'll, we'll jump in here. But there is a huge amount of stats that you need to be tuned into. So Susie, why don't you reel off some of those? <laughs> okay, well, one of the, a, a couple of the most impressive, and please keep in mind the footnote on my uh, Facebook statistic was from 2017. Um, I have no idea where that's gone in the last couple of weeks, uh-huh. but uh, 500 million people watch some kind of video on Facebook every day, every day. Every 24 hours, 500 million people are watching some kind of video on Facebook, or at least they were in 2017. Um, that's, a, that's just a mind-boggling, staggering number, and why wouldn't you want to take advantage of that? Uh, YouTube. You know, you click on something, it may take you to YouTube. YouTube has over a billion, billion with a B, users. That equates to one-third of all Internet users use YouTube for something. And you can, as an author, as a speaker, as you, whatever you are marketing, well, to put something on your YouTube channel, that's free. You can go set up a YouTube channel, and that's free for you to use to get to over a billion users. On Twitter, Judith, I know you're a big uh, Twitter believer, uh, uh, yeah. as are m- many other people. 62% of Twitter users watch video content on Twitter. So Twitter, even though they increased the number of characters you can use in a tweet, that's nice. But well over half of them are watching video content on the Twitter. It is just, these are staggering numbers. And again, if you are not taking advantage of promoting yourself via video, via moving pictures in some way, and being in front of 500 million on Facebook, a billion on YouTube, and oh, I misspoke, I'm sorry, 82% of Twitter users um, watch video content on Twitter. That's the, they are standing there with their arms open. Please send us some video. Let us help you market yourself. And you have to take advantage of that. Uh, and if you're not, you're making a huge mistake. <laughs> a huge mistake. Yeah, Humong- it's right humongous, there. Humongous mistake. So the bottom line, it's here to stay. Um, and the video is what's good about it is something you create. It's something you own. So you'll have your information, whether you want to choose contact information on it, refer them to your website, refer them to where you buy your book, or whatever it is this video is about. Uh, or maybe, exactly. it's, maybe it's just a for fun thing. You never know. But that's one way to drive traffic and get attention. And I think that's what Susie's really bringing up. Well, let, let's leap over here, Susie, a little bit. So what should they be using their videos for? Um, and and think, um, you know, think about for this book or for the author or for the website or 
fill in the blank. What are some of the things that they should be thinking about? And maybe some techniques that they should be using for those purposes. Well, in thinking about what message you want to put forth, let's just go ahead and use a, a book, for example. So you have worked and gutted it out and you're edited and you have a great book cover and here it is and you're so proud of all the work you put into this book and and now what do I do? Well, as you well know, the independent publisher writing that book is a small percentage, sadly, of what has to happen to get it into people's hands. You are now the chief marketing officer of your book, and you need to take steps to get it out there. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's great. What do I do? <clears throat> well, you know your book. You know yourself. Take some notes. What do you want people to know without giving away the punchline? What is going to attract their attention without giving away the entire story? Well, make your notes, and there are so many ways to go about it. If you are a comfortable do-it-yourself person, which I know you are constantly, wow, turn on that camera and talk right into it. And one of the best things about that, I hear all the time, well, if I do this myself, I, I, I can't do it over, and what if I make a mistake? Wow, if you're doing it yourself, you'll have unlimited do-overs. You can keep doing it over until you are absolutely happy, thrilled, ready to go with, with what you said. So you can do it that way by talking to the camera. There are free or very, very inexpensive options for you. If you don't think you just want to go from scratch, yeah. there are companies like Animoto. Animoto is very, very inexpensive. And they offer templates for you to put your information in. And it doesn't take very long. And it will turn out a wonderful, complete video, more of a teaser uh, video for you in just a short period of time. I happen to be a Mac person. Mac computers come with iMovie. And they come with photos, slideshow. You can customize your message with images of your book. If you have illustrations, if you have photographs, whatever that is, well, those are free with your computer. Many, many PC users, Microsoft Video Editor, and Slideshow Maker. You have access to those for free. You just have to play around with them a little bit and decide, is this for me? Is this what I want? because it doesn't cost you anything but time. Not that your time isn't valuable, but you're not going out on a limb writing somebody a big check to do something that you can take a shot at yourself for nothing. And there are a number of other options that come up with, you know, that will offer you templates and you can get a complete piece, a complete, as you refer to it, sizzle reel, short, sweet, snappy, high energy, to be able to use that on your website, to go to your YouTube channel, to use on Twitter, to use for Vimeo, whatever the case may be. There are so many tools available if you have the internet. And who doesn't have the internet? Well, (laughs) I I think internet use, uh, especially the people we're talking about here who are publishing, who are speaking, Yes. Uh, everybody has the internet. Well, if yes, an author has to be on the internet. You have to have that website. So on your website, which let, let's open that window up right now. Let, let's let's okay. open the website and they go on. And I, I know I did. I got a hair up hair on me one day and I blasted out a whole bunch of videos. It was actually a bad hair day, but what the heck? I just was the mouth was working. The ideas were generating. And here's what I did, and I'm going to encourage everyone to really be thinking like this, is I went on each page on my website. Now, now there's each section, I need to say, each tab on my website. 
and I actually made a short video for every section. This is what's going to be. This is what you'll find in this section. This is what can do some there was there's one only 20 seconds, I think. And there is another one that goes up to because it's the in depth dealing with the home page is like a welcome. But it's almost four minutes. But, you know, that could be even short. You know, what is it that you do and you bring about? But I think that that's what you want to really think uh, to support your visitors, to engage them and actually get them to hang out and start figuring out who you are, what you're about and what you can do for them. People love to put a face with a name. Um, you know, one of the mistakes with radio for so many, many, many years was, okay, well, I listen to Joe Blitlop in the morning, but I have no earthly idea of what Joe Blitlop looks like. Mm -hmm. And as things have changed and evolved, well, now radio stations put a live camera in so people can more connect with the radio people so they can feel like they're, I'm inviting them into my room as a person rather than just their voice. Their voice is important, but being able to have that personal connection in knowing who that is, is a big deal. It is very, very important. So as you were saying, maybe only 20 seconds, mm -hmm. somebody gets to your website and, hi, this is Judith Bryles, and thanks for joining me, and here's what we're talking about. And if you click on my speaking link, this will come up, whatever the case may be. Just taking the time to do that and welcoming people. Yes. And so they know who you are is a huge deal. It makes people connect. It wants them to find out more information. And you just can't deny that video is that important. All right. So I think that, that uh, we're really opening up the... It's a portal, it's a window, it's a must have for all of you of placements of you can do videos and types of videos. We're gonna take another quick break. We're gonna be back with Susie Scott of, of susiescottmedia.com. Videos are a must have. Don't leave your webinar, your, your website, anything without having at least one. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Want to publish like a pro today? Well, then take a look at Ingram Spark, the only publishing platform that offers print and ebook services through a single source. Upload, edit, and manage titles all in one place. Take more control of printing costs with print on demand and reach even more readers through one of the world's most extensive distribution networks. Built by independent publishers for independent publishers, Ingram Spark has everything you need to maximize your book's potential. Color printing, ebook distribution, print on demand, global reach, and more. Start publishing with Ingram Spark today and see just how far your titles will go tomorrow. That's IngramSpark.com. Many of us have dreamed of writing a book. Some of us even have. Then the hard work starts. You'll need an editor. Who will design the cover or typeset the pages? Who will format the ebook? If you're a business owner, consultant, or coach with a serious message and expertise to share, the team of experts at 1106 Design can guide you through the maze. They've helped more than a thousand authors create top quality books and avoid the not so reputable self publishing companies. Learn more at 1106design.com. Then call Michelle at 602 866 3226. 1106 Design. When Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. 
They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing questions. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, we're talking videos today. And with me is Susie Scott of susiescottmedia.com. And we kind of do the setup. I mean, the stats are humongous that you should be using videos just about everywhere. And it's a way to hook people, to get their attention, to land and stay put. Um, And if you're trying to sell anything, as Susie said, according to a study at Forbes, that 64% that that, uh, 64% of people who see a video buy the product. That's pretty hot. It's pretty convincing to me. So Susie, let's talk about books. And let's also talk about authors who speak. So on a book, um, you've done several book videos. I know you've done a few of mine. What works and what doesn't work? I, okay, what works? Let's, let's talk about yours specifically, Judith. You are very comfortable on camera. You have no problem looking right into the camera and speaking. Um, and that's great and that is something when you can make that connection with your audience and they can see the passion and the fire of what you're talking about but realistically maybe not everybody is comfortable doing that and we run into that often so if you are an author and you know you need some video and you've tried talking into your camera and you're just not happy with it, even though you get unlimited do-overs. There are other ways to do that. And the ways to do that are to really highlight your book, what it's about, anything that is visual about that. So if you have your cover, I highly recommend moving ahead with a video, at least when you have that cover. The book may not be finished. You may be doing some pre-launch work But having that cover is great. And you can combine the cover and some text. And there are places on the Internet that you can go to use free images. And you may find some of those free images that you can include in the video about that book. There have been studies that show people on informational pieces really like to have shorter is better. And okay, you're an author, you just wrote a book, you have all of these words. But when you're talking to an audience, and especially if you're doing a pre-launch on that, well, they'd really like that to be just kind of a taste, just kind of a tease on that. Um, According to Animoto, which is a group that does videos in a template fashion you do it but they provide 
very inexpensively, a template. Nearly two-thirds of consumers prefer video that's under 60 seconds. So it, as a teaser, as just a taste of what's coming, you can do this. People can take their book cover. They can pull some passages, really hot, really telling about the contents of the book to use little snippets as text. You can get some free images from the internet. Maybe you have photographs or illustrations in that book that you can also load and put together. And boom, you just have a killer video about your book that's going to talk to those 64% of people who see that video who are more likely to buy since they have seen it. So it, it, it's all over the place. It's a, a red car. You can get the red Chevette, you can get the red Corvette or anything in between, but it is important to have your personal mark on something that's video to help sell that book. Uh, which is makes a difference. And you mentioned Animoto. I mean, I've used Animoto. You know, I actually did a Christmas card one year on Animoto where I dropped in all kinds of pictures and then this transition and we picked her music and it was jingle bells all the way through. So there is a lot that you can do. This is where the creative juices can get going. Uh, I mean, it, it it's I think it's fabulous. And then the other thing is, it's just not... Now, now we've got it. So, Susie, where do we push it out? What do you have any suggestions there? Absolutely. Um, the first thing, you have to have a website. And, it, you know, oh, geez, and websites, and they're so complicated, and they're cumbersome, and they're, and some of them absolutely are. And I am saying this, I, I'm a, I am a film and video producer. I am not a website person, but there are templates that are very inexpensive or free if you're willing to have their watermark or, you know, their banner. I, quite honestly, I use Wix and I am not a paid spokesperson for them, but because I am not a web person, I love drag and drop. <laughs> So they give you the template, you decide what you want to drag in there. Everybody must have a website. With the number of people on the internet these days, they hear or see your name. What do you think they're going to do? They are going to put your name into the Google, and hopefully your website's going to come up. So you have a website, and it can be very simple. And it can be very inexpensive. And that's the first place you want to put your video. So they get there. There are ways to do this that it does not have to, the video doesn't have to be embedded into your website. And that's free to do. So you go through and put the website together. And then you have Vimeo, uh, V as in video, I-M-E-O, Vimeo has a free option. You click on the thumbnail for the video. You go to Vimeo and your video plays. It's right there. You can do that. You can send it to your own YouTube channel. Also free. Go to YouTube. Set up your YouTube channel. You can host your videos there. Those two things are incredibly important uh, Vimeo tends to attract a little bit more professional videos. We know where YouTube is. Get as many places as you can. You want your video in front of as many people as you can. But attaching it to your brand through your website is a very, very important step, uh, first step, and a great place to start. You just need to do that. Uh, and that's the number one. You just, if you get the setup, have it done, have a landing place. Uh, make sure you have copies. You keep copies on your computer, but also so you have these things. 
um, or at least the link over, and then get it on your website as well on that. Let me ask you this, Susie. How often should videos be updated? You know, your lead-in um, on, a, on a website. Let's say you've cre created them for your homepage. How often should you do an update there? Or, um, do you, often, do you, well, for, or do you need to do that if you've got everything that you need to have? If you have changing information, what you don't want to do, and we have all experienced this, you go to a website and you're looking at some information and it is outdated. None of it is important anymore mm -hmm. for what's happening. So on your own website, if you have changes, if you are, your initial video was there and it was a pre-launch, and guess what? Now my book is actually available. For heaven's sakes, do the update. Oh, yeah. And again, there are so many inexpensive options to do it for free. Anytime there is something relevant that will impact the people who go to your website, update it. it they are easy and inexpensive to do. Maybe you don't need one. Maybe it is, you know, hi, I'm Joe Blitloff. Welcome, welcome to my website. You know, here, here's my, be sure to look for the calendar tab for my calendar of events. But whatever it is, make sure wherever you send them or whatever you're saying is up to date and current. So your video on your landing page may not need to change. You may have put so much into that, not necessarily financially, but it may give the story right there. And it may not need to change, but knowing that you can go in and change it if you have to or do an update, it really is driven by what's going on with your book, with your book sales, with your speaking events, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, make sure just, also that you're consistent. So yeah. it isn't a, a completely different look, feel, whatever the case may be, that doesn't fit with your brand. Yeah, and if it doesn't fit with your brand, you need to get it off. I'm just going to say that really blatantly. You got to <laughs> all, all about that. All right, we're going to take our final break right here, and I actually have an idea for people who want to do a contest in video. We'll be right back. is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd if you want to create a book with no regrets. Give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd.
One of the most important decisions you will ever make is your choice for printing your book. You are choosing a company which will be responsible for guiding you through the process and printing your book at a level of quality and detail that embraces your personal and creative needs. You want to choose a company that when your book finally arrives, you are delighted and ready to move on to the next level and one that is customer focused. Choose King Printing Company and Addy Books to be that company that brings you to the next level. Go to kingprinting.com or call 978-458-2345 and ask for Tom Campbell. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years' experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR, perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types including side sewing we provide warehousing kitting distribution inventory management a new print on demand facility streaming browser based ebooks and bookstore call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project you can also visit our website at www.tps1.com Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, we have been talking video land with Susie Scott of Susie Scott Media uh, for the past hour. In our final segment, we're going to really talk to you about some of the other things from the a little bit, maybe some editing tips, some uh, the cleaning up, the intro and exit music, if appropriate. Maybe it's not always appropriate, um, and and maybe some do overs once you've got it done. So, Susie, where would we start here? For the the audio side, well, for the audio side, one of the things that that is so important is not using just a speaker on your computer. <laughs> I know it's easy to do; it's right there. I mean, I you know I open my computer. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have a camera. It has. A microphone. Why can't I use that? Well, you could. And if you're out in the field, you can make that work. But if you're really trying to do something more professional, you need to have a microphone. Um, it, one of the inexpensive ways to go about this, as you know, Judith, is a blue Yeti. The um, they have a variety of different microphones, and they start at about $50. Now, okay, well, do I really want to invest in that? <clears throat> you really do. Excuse me one sec. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. Uh-oh. Um, there are film producers. There are people involved in these huge blockbuster movies and think about the soundtracks of those. The sound is hugely important. So you want to make sure what you're doing and presenting to your buyers, whether they are buyers for you speaking or buyers of your book, whatever the case may be, that you are making yourself sound totally professional. And like I said, especially with audio, wow, how easy is it to just do that over? Well, I did that. I listened to it. Uh, I don't know if I like my energy level. I'm, I kind of, The read was a little bit lumpy, whatever that is, and just do that again. 
it doesn't matter. You just keep doing that over until you're happy with it. So easy to do, but you must start with a good microphone. And you will know when you record and you listen back to that, you'll be able to tell if that's really the product you want to put out or if you need to upgrade that microphone. And, you know, I'm going to add on to that because I, I know um, when I do my audio books, um, I, I was in a discussion on a forum just a couple of days ago and someone was saying, no, no, you can just do your whole book by yourself. You don't need anybody. Da, 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 da. And I, I just, I disagree. I, I think you need an editor who will be listening in to hiccups and slurs and all the other things that happen on that. But also they will hear that energy and they will let you know you need to take a break, you're tired. And they will let you know if your stomach's growling because the mic picked it up. So, <laughs> which by the way, yeah. I have happened. I, I had to leave the studio because you know I'm not a breakfast person and I had a nine o'clock taping that I was starting on and they were you know, it, my stomach started doing the deal and we had to leave so I've learned always eat something at least two hours before you start recording a voice so you have it so <laughs> that's a great story uh, <laughs> yeah it wasn't what let, happened <laughs> well, you know, let's talk about the audiobook thing for a minute because it, it is a huge booming business, as we know. And many people are wonderfully suited to do their own audiobook. And many more people are not. Um, to, it's, I, I understand it's your work. It's things you absolutely believe in because you spent the time writing those words and getting it edited and it's all ready and it's when people are buying it and you're going to do the audio book. And Aunt Edna thinks you sound great, but the goal is to have people want to buy the audio book as well. And it is a real skill to do those audiobooks without sounding too either too over the top or too monotone or whatever the case may be. There are people who are who do this for a living that do it really well. And one of the keys is to kind of sound like anybody without having that be a huge big deal. So if you're planning to do an audiobook Please, please, please read some of it and ask for input for somebody honestly who is not Aunt Edna, because you may not be suited to do your own audiobook. Judith, you are absolutely, but there are a lot of people who just no. aren't. Um, it's, you need, it's, you need <laughs> a strong voice. Yeah, yeah. You need stamina to do it. If you're real, if you're real soft you're in trouble and you've got to be able to push out and project. And you also, I think what, one of the things that works for me, Susie, is my, you know, decades on the platform speaking and understanding the choreography of a speech and storytelling and all that, because that comes into audio production. You just, you just can't read it like it was word after word after word after word. It's got to have character to it. It does. It, it absolutely does. Um, and when there are audiobook actors who are reading books that they haven't written, obviously, mm -hmm. as I said, that's a real skill. And oh. to know when to pump that up and have it be a little bit more energetic of a read instead of, you know, down here in very serious land. Uh, that's why people do this for a living. They they know how to read that and how to get that done. So I I just have to say, if you have tried your own audiobook and you're not happy with it, don't feel alone. The vast majority of people who try to do their own audiobook are not happy with it. That that's why there are so many people who who can actually do it. It is a true skill. 
and uh, something that has to be dead on, or you're just not going to have people buying that audiobook. You know, and I just I need to add this because we have done shows uh, exclusively on audiobooks. That for all of those, you know, if you, if you don't have them, you need to all understand that 22% of book sales are audiobooks now. And if you all wow. have a, a book for, especially for the millennial crowd or under, you got to have an audiobook that goes with it uh, because that's yeah. what they're reading, that's where they're going. And it's just really essential. And the last thing I'll say on this is the audiobook is the last type of book you're going to do, unless you're only going to do an audiobook, which I don't understand why you, you would do that. But roughly 65, 67% of all books sold are print books, roughly 20% are ebooks, and 22% in that area are audiobooks. You want to make sure your wow. audiobook is the last one out the gate. Uh, so it is absolutely reflective of what's in the print and the ebook side. So that, that's my little commercial two bits for that. Important <laughs> information. Very, very important information. <laughs> Susie, we've got about 90 seconds left. Any, any, any other juicy tidbit you'd like to add in? You know, I, I just really want to emphasize, Judith, the, the importance of video, and there, it, there really is no excuse to not give it a try. There are just so many options available for people to either do it themselves or companies who do video for you, and as I said earlier, it's like a red car. You can get the red Chevette or the red Corvette and everything else in between, but other than your own apprehension, really nothing is stopping you. And if you go down the do-it-yourself path, which I completely encourage people to do, to start off with, do it, do it again, do it again. If you're not happy with it, keep playing with it. Try to have fun with it instead of having it look like a task that you must do. Doing this video stuff can be fun and it will only help you sell books or That's sell right. yourself. So give yeah. it a try. You can do it. All right. So Susie Scott from SusieScottMedia.com. Reach out and, um, and she's a professional. I can highly recommend it. And one other tip as we close out here, when you're doing things in your own office, make sure you get a pink light bulb. It will do so much more for your reflection. All right. With that, it's yep, off yeah. to you. <laughs> your guide to book publishing. I'm Judith Riles, your book shepherd. We'll be with you next week. Happy writing, happy publishing. Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Riles. Each week of a variety.